Most of science fiction is in fact well within the laws of physics, but possible within maybe a hundred years. And then we have impossibilities that may take a thousand years or more. That includes time travel, warp drive, higher dimensions, portals through space and time, stargates, wormholes. You know, if you were to meet your great-grandparents of the year 1900, they were dirt farmers back then. They didn't live much beyond the age of 40 on average. Long-distance communication in the year 1900 was yelling at your neighbor. And yet, if they could see you now with iPads and iPods and satellites and GPS and laser beams, how would they view you? They would view you as a wizard or sorcerer. However, if we can now meet our grandkids of the year 2100, how would we view them? We would view them as gods, like in Greek mythology. Zeus could control objects around him by pure thought, materialize objects just by thinking. And their perks, being a Greek god, Venus had a perfect body, a timeless body, and we are beginning now to unravel the genetics at the molecular level of the aging process. And then Apollo, he had a chariot that he could ride across the heavens. We will finally have that flying car that we've always wanted to have in our garage. By the year 2100, we will have the power of the gods. To paraphrase Arthur C. Clarke, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from divinity.